Before we begin, I want to take you on a journey. It's 2001, and in movie theatres across the world, a film is released. A film that will go on to leave its mark in Hollywood forever. And of course, that film is Doctor Doolittle 2. Wow, it's worse than, it's worse than I imagined it would be! Oh, and also, The Fast and the Furious. A film that would introduce millions to the world of car culture and underground street racing. And despite the film getting average reviews, it would go on to spawn one of the biggest movie franchises of all time. A franchise that would continue its roots in underground street racing, adventure off into the world of blockbuster action movies, and would even go full on sci fi and travel to outer space. It's safe to say. The Fast and Furious franchise has really done it all. And of course, with a franchise being so big successful, there have been its fair few shares of video game adaptations, ranging from good to damn right dreadful. For example, on the good, we have Forza Horizon 2 Presents Fast and Furious, a game that, sure, will not necessarily be a Fast and Furious game in itself, but rather a free expansion for Forza Horizon 2. It was still a fantastic little game for free, which included voice acting from Ludacris from the films and gave players the opportunity to drive some iconic cars from Fast and Furious 7. There have been games that are okay at best, such as the 2006 Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift game, a game that, while being based on Tokyo Drift, mainly focused on Wangang racing and didn't have the best drift physics. But despite all that, still had a great variety of car customization and a load of JDM cars for you to get your hands on. Seriously, if you're able to track down this game, I'd highly recommend it. And of course, there have been games that have been absolutely abysmal. Which brings us on to the latest attempt in Fast and Furious video games, Fast and Furious Crossroads. Well, what can I say about this game? I remember when this game was first announced to be in development and there's a quote I want to say about this game, a quote that out of everything to do with this game has truly stuck with me all these years. And that quote is that they wanted this game to be a need for speed killer. You know Need for Speed, the biggest racing game franchise of the last 30 years? Yeah, this game was meant to be the killer of it. Sadly, the only thing this game killed was itself as it was pulled from Xbox, PlayStation and online stores after just two years. Two years and this game was pulled. Look, to put it simply, if the Fast and Furious franchise films have a budget of about half a billion dollars, this game had a budget of, well, whatever they found at the back of the sofa. Oh, the base. I oh okay, just Mr. Nobody. straight in, Never, the, yeah. no cutscene, no nothing, just no, no, drive, drive now, drive fast. Oh my god, what is this handling, that's atrocious. Oh, nitrous. Yep, stretchy car effect. Oh my, <laughs> okay then. Ah, oh, those smoke graphics are oh, beautiful. Oh, it was nice some doors just crash and way up for me. How lovely, thanks guys. Slam them off the road. What was that? Are you serious right now? There is just so much happening, I can't even comment on it all. Firstly, what the fuck's going on? Cars don't do that. This isn't Saint Row, you can't just magic go left like that. And now there's a tank. Oh my sweet Jesus Christ. Don't we use the magic slide physics? What the hell? Oh my god, fire. Yeah, will you try it drive it blind? I can't see a thing here. Look for the three fuel tanks on the back. I see them. Use the harpoon to pull those tanks off. I'm on it. Oh, we're in GT now, we're just switching. I'm sorry, what? Fucking spike things on the wheels. Was this an optional extra? 
starting to think this guy has well, the entire city of a, Athens on payroll. It's of a cup holder. We don't want the optional wheel spikes. So what is happening? Already off to an amazing and I mean dreadful start. Because what is this? I don't even know what's happening. I, I was gonna say this earlier, but I kept getting distracted by everything. Every time I look back, there's just a delay. Oh, look at that engine. It's not even moving. Look at it. It's like, it's stationary. What are we running on, hopes and dreams? Oh my so god, fast. it's Vin Petrol. I do want to say, this is an Xbox One game. I just want to make that clear, this is an Xbox One, because looking at these graphics, you might mistake it for a very early PlayStation 3 game. They want to play with fire? Then let's turn up the heat. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that transition? It should have just cut the black and put Fast and Furious Crossroads. But no, we had an awkward fade in as Dom just stood there. Oh, fuck me, this is amazing. And by amazing, I mean dreadful. And now we're playing as these two. These two characters I'm sure we'll all come to love. I can't even... <laughs> Again, with the awkward cutscenes. Alright, I'm bored, I'm gonna start ramming people. And um, you ran out of the way. Yeah, coming through. <laughs> Brilliant physics. Yeah, just drive off like it's nothing. And you die. Remember, guys, we're the good guys in this. It's a powertrain problem. Let's tow it to our place. I'll take a look at it on my own time. We're not equipped to fix these things. Let me pop the hood and show you the beauty of these things. Okay. Hitch it up. Yeah? And let's take it over to Sebastian's. He'll give this guy a fair deal. But we better hurry. He closes early on Tuesdays. It's Wednesday. Oh, we don't even get to tow it. I would have loved to have seen the game physics of me hey. towing a car. We brought you a present. Yay, more tow truck driving. Oh. Hey, take a right here. I think we're being followed. What are you talking about? Oh, fuck, I think I missed the right. Please, uh, I think there's a black SUV following us. Did I? We can meet up with the main road here. If we take the Via Augusta tunnel, we'll be home in no time. Do you guys think we're being followed? I don't think we're being followed. You're the one acting crazy. What's with this camera shit? I. I. Is this meant to be how they do sense of speed? This is abysmal. It's making me feel sick. I, 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 oh my god, it's actually hurting. Oh, this is dread. I actually feel like I'm going to vomit. Oh, I had to stop. That generally hurt. I think we're clear. It's carrying on down the road. Thank you. No, it's not. It's parked at the side of the road there. Okay. Ever need a getaway driver? You've got the job. Oh, You'd better God, have a good this game makes no goddamn us. sense sometimes. Oh, okay, just stutter in, why don't you? He 
Is that... Is that a Camaro? Yeah, 69. Wow. Where did you find it? Cam and I fished it out of a lake back in Florida. Couldn't bear to leave it behind. So are you finished calling? That makes no Can fucking you sense. What the hell <sighs> I'm sorry. Did they not watch... Did the people making this game days. not watch the actual film? What? Because in the film, the Camaro landed on the back uh, of a yacht. Of the, and then, assumingly, taken in the customs Should by cops. Well, did they think the cops Maybe just went, one, two, three, push it over the board and leave it in the bottom sort of the like, ocean? Um, well, just remember, these things are extremely volatile. Hmm, well, we'll be extremely careful then. Do that again. I want you to be safe. Oh, great, just what we need, an accident. What? Fuel is leaking everywhere. Get out of the car! Oh, oh. I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? I went around the corner. I wasn't even touching the accelerator. And for some unknown reason, my car just went, nope, and fired itself straight on to a wall. What on God's green earth just happened? It's nice to see the same player models all see, turned down. I was right. Mauricio's put up his BMW E30 as first prize. The vampire car. With all those mods, that's gotta be worth 50, maybe 60 grand. That puts a serious dent in Sebastian's tab. Mauricio was also asking about you. He was all like, how come your friend never comes around anymore? I miss her. Tell her I want to see her. Whatever. He likes himself too much to like anybody else. I knew you'd come around someday. In your dreams, I'm here to support a friend. I think you miss the life. I think you miss Miami. Heard you used to roll with Suki and her crew. You heard wrong. There's my friend. See you around, Mauricio. Drivers, are you ready? This is a relay race. One lap around the cars. Tag your partner in. The winner is the one that crosses the line on the fourth lap. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Off to let him start. Uh, I gotta throw it in more. Oh, fuck, wrong button. Holy shit. <gasps> Nitrous has stayed on yeah, forever. I got this. Also, I wonder about how many Fast and Furious references do they want in this game? Let's I mean, we got the Camaro from Too Fast, Too Furious. They've just had a mention of Suki. We have Racer's Edge. I may not be like, as you. It's like the, the game is trying to remind you, just so you know, this is a Fast and Furious game. Like, yeah, I know it's a Fast and Furious game game. I don't have amnesia. Talking, Mauricio. Your car is going home with me. No, it's really like not. Not what he's handling. Uh, I'm so I'm sorry. I was like, I was going to lose. So I thought, fuck it, let's just crash into them cars. Then I realised those cars don't actually exist. Oh, that's nice. The game just starts you right from the... Uh, Right from like the final lap, you have to do this entire race again, meaning you have to play less and less this abysmal game. But you know what, that's a feature I actually like. You seem to be out here racing, Mr. Fuck me, it's James Bond. We need to get off the main road. Oh good, we get to do a police chase. I really want to see how the police handle in this game. I should have never involved you. I would have been pissed if you had enough with the soft story. We've got to lose these cops. Oh my god. I'm trying my best, my friend. 
Whoa! A coin. Sorry, a skyline just pinned me in an invisible wall. Damn it! Every cop in the world just showed up. Oh. Oh, okay. That that happened. What the fuck did just happen? Did a bit of a building just fall? Action landing. After you touch your landing. What? Did I misread that something? What's going on? Oh my god, there's so much happening on my screen. Choose a hiding spot. Which one's the closest? Just, just end this for me. Yeah, the helicopter was just right on us, in fact. Here comes Cam. I'm sorry, that's a hiding spot. There was a helicopter on you! Quick, a helicopter! Yeah, keep your voice down, you don't want the police to hear you. I... You guys cannot see them, clear as day. Oh my god, police in this game are brain dead, I tell you. Cam, wait, okay, you do you, Cam. So, before we continue, I actually want to talk about DLC. Can you believe it? This atrocious piece of shit game actually had DLC for it? Yeah. I couldn't believe it either, but this game did in fact have DLC, but the DLC for this game was about as terrible as the rest of the game. Let me explain. They had cars from the previous Fast and Furious movies as DLC. Now you're thinking, oh well that's cool, that's some awesome DLC, you can drive some of the iconic cars from the franchise, except it isn't like that. You see, now I'm not going to talk about every car that was DLC, but I'm going to point out just one car to give you an example of just how bad the DLC for this game really was. Here's a picture of Brian Skyline from Too Fast, Too Furious. Probably one of the most iconic cars in the franchise, right? This is what they gave you as paid DLC. This looks nothing like Brian Skyline. If anything, it looks more like the BMW from Most Wanted 2005. But the crazy thing is, Rocket League has DLC that looks exactly like the actual car. Someone tell me how Rocket League was able to get the actual car from the movie, but an official licensed Fast and Furious game couldn't? Someone explain that to me. Now, I know what you might be thinking for yourself. Oh, you've been a bit harsh. You seem a bit angry about this DLC business. Here's the thing. You, you can't use these cars in DLC, uh, in online, uh, in single player, sorry. They were only available for the online portion of this game, which is shut down. So you spent money on cars that you can't even drive anymore. I, wasn't sure you'd even I, me. I, I don't know what to tell you, really. The fact is, though, there you can go and play something like Forza Horizon 2 or 3 from like 2014 and 2016 and you can drive the car for as much as you want in any event you want and you don't have to pay DLC money for it. Yep, you don't look suspicious at all. Just standing right at the fence like that. You blend in perfectly. Not one of these police officers is going to think you're suspicious at all. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, the, the, the game is 
Oh, <laughs> okay. Great job, game. Well done. Also, what is what is that on my roof? Is that a fucking Wi-Fi box? What am I doing with that on my roof? Damn it, Cam. I told you to stay at the house. How suspicious do you think this looks now? Two cars parked up near the police station? Stop treating me like Oh, a yeah, kid. but you walking up to the fence Where's and the looking in Over didn't look there, suspicious at all. Entrance. Well, there's no way in there. So let me show you how the 21st century will solve this. A truck that size is bound to have a cargo manifest. If I can hack it, I might be able to find this out. This is full speed, by the way. Okay. I mean, I would love to approach the truck, but this is apparently my top speed. High speed. I'm being overtaken by the fucking AI. Oh! Great police job there. You just caused it like a 10 man pileup. You've killed half of Barcelona doing that. Around when possible. Well, I can't. I can't go this way. There's a, literally a road there I could drive down to get to this location, but no, I have to go back and drive down that Pacific Street. No, look, look. Yards, I'm gonna drive down here. Right. See, see. There's a. Oh, no wonder you didn't want me to drive down that way. You didn't want me to see the PlayStation One graphics in the background. Like, you haven't even tried to hide it. I can understand having, like, a low, re like, like, <laughs> low polys in the distance, so you, places where you can't see. But normally up close, you would have, like, nice graphics or anything. But the fact you're letting me get this close to that. Did, uh, did, this game came out in 2020, by the way. This isn't from 2004. I just want to make that clear. This game came out in 2020. Whoa! Jesus Christ! I mean, you're gonna get someone killed with driving on that speed. You're more of a threat on the road than me. Okay, okay. Yep. I love the physics. Best in the world. There's just a parked bus there. There's just, for no reason at all, there's just a bus parked in the road. Fan fucking Dabby Dorsey. So, on a point, we're doing a fall mission. Where I gotta drive really slow. That was close. I thought this was fast and furious, not slow and fucking dullius. God, it, it's my brain has actually melted. I've started making up words. This game, oh, I, I can't even be bothered anymore. Do you know the worst thing is? I love Fast and Furious. I do love the franchise. The original first three films, where. It was about the street racing. I absolutely adore to bits. It's it, I hold them in my heart, in a special place in my heart. Then even when the filmers went to a bit more action blockbustery, I still loved them as well. I thought they were great action films. And even now, even now when they've gone full on sci-fi and ridiculousness, amazing driving by that bus driver. Uh, as I was saying, even now when I'm, uh, even now when they've gone full on ridiculous and sci-fi. I still love watching them, even though I'm taking the piss out of them. They're, they're just great fun to watch. And I would truly love a good Fast and Furious game, but we don't have any good There's Fast an and Furious games. We just have broken pals and mess like this. I would give anything to have a decent Fast and Furious game. In fact, we did have a good Fast and Furious game back Looks in like 2017. Let me show you. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Need for Speed Payback from 2017. Now, you may be wondering why I'm not talking about one of the newer Need for Speed games, and well, for two reasons. Firstly, I don't currently own any of the newer Need for Speed games, and secondly, if you want a good Fast and Furious like game, this is probably the best game you're gonna get for it. Let me explain. Well, Actually, let's just compare Crossroads to Payback, starting with the graphics. I mean, first of all, look at it. It actually looks like an Xbox One PlayStation 4 game and not a very, very late PS2 game. And secondly, the physics. While in Crossroads, you can kind of just all over the place guessing, in this, you actually have control over your car. 
I actually know what I'm doing. When I want to break, it breaks. When I want to turn, it turns. It's not a guessing game. I actually have control over my vehicles. And the ve different vehicle types actually make sense. Race cars feel heavy and weighted to the ground. Drift cars feel light and loose. Off-road cars handle amazing when taking on dirt roads. It, the handling in this game is about a million times better than whatever the hell they were doing in Crossroads. But that's just some small examples of why this game is better than uh, uh, Fast and Furious Crossroads. Let me show you some other examples, starting with cars. Look! It's Brian's skyline from Too Fast, Too Furious. It actually looks like the movie car and not some crappy cheap knockoff. And the best part is, I, this isn't DLC. I didn't have to pay real world money for it. This was just a car you can make in the game. Basically, if this game has a car that was featured in the movies, you can pretty much make it exactly look like how it was in the movies. Not some bad knockoff that they're going to charge you £100 worth of DLC for. So that's already an improvement. But what if you want to make a car look like your own? Well, there's a variety of great customization in this game. So if you don't want your car to look like a fast and furious car and instead want to make it look like your own, this game has you covered with customization, such as bumpers, hoods, fenders, side skirts, rear bumpers, spoilers, and a huge variety of rims to really make your car look like your own. But on top of that, you have the rap editor, so you can download a variety of amazing uh, community made raps to really make your car look unique and something special, or you can go ahead and have a go at making your own. There's a variety of ways to customize your car, and I'm just talking about a Nissan Skyline here. There are a huge, and I mean huge, selection of cars for you to choose and customize in this game. So, if you want an actual Fast and Furious game where you can customize your own cars, Need for Speed Payback has you covered. Now, what's the point of having a lot of cars if you can't race them? Payback has that covered too. There are lots of different race types in this game, such as sprint racing, drag racing, off-road racing, drift events, and cop chases. So there is a variety of different race types to relive really that early 2000 Fast and Furious lifestyle. Ah, but what about the newer films? They have more Hollywood action blockbuster style racing. Don't worry, Neo Speed Payback has that cover too. You see these orange missions here. These are story missions throughout the game. Now, granted, the story in this game, it's not amazing. It's kind of your standard, oh, you betrayed me, I'm going to get revenge on you. Not, you know, the most amazing story ever. But it does feature these story missions that are pretty much a Hollywood blockbuster style event. For example, the highway heist here. You've got to drive a Ford Mustang, chase down a truck and steal a hypercar while the mob and police are trying to chase you down. There's the Outlaws Rush, which is the big final race at the end where you've got to race against loads of other drivers across various different types of vehicles while also again police try to take you down. And Skyhammer. Now if you love police chases, this is probably the event for you. As you get ambushed by the police, you gotta do a massive chase switching from diff three different characters while also being chased down by a helicopter trying to shoot you with an EMP. It's very Hollywood blockbuster, so if you want action-packed missions, this game has you covered too. So to recap, this game looks better, it handles better, has more things to do, has more customization, and ultimately, it's just a better game. But you want to know the best thing about this is, this game is actually cheaper than Fast and Furious Crossroads. I kid you not, I bought Fast and Furious Crossroads in a CEX for £12. £12 isn't a lot of money, yet after playing Crossroads, I still feel like I was totally ripped off. Need for Speed Payback on the hand, other hand was just £8. £8. £4 cheaper for not even double but quadruple the amount of content for you to get your hands on. So if you want a fast and furious game, check out Need for Speed Payback. You know, the, the game that Fast and Furious Crossroads was meant to kill.